All right, hey, it's Bruce here, bringing you another video, GDXY and our friend GDX. Let's jump in here. So what happened on 613? Well, a lot. Now they didn't roll their synthetic, however, buy to close, buy to close, buy to close, and then two more sell shorts. Well, when you look at this, all this volume of calls, the weeklies, right? They were all 614 expirations. So since GDX has been going down a fair amount, they were able to buy them on a Thursday and close them out for two cents for every single one of them, right? 1485, 135 contracts, 130. So that's like a 99% win. And then they went out and wrote, yay, they laddered, right? They wrote a 34, which is a little tight, 875 contracts. So six more trading days on that one, all the way up to next Friday. And then they wrote a little higher, 34 fives, right? We closed at 33.15. So I'll show you the percentages over and weekly. And we got less for those, right? 17 cents. But it was a nice, nice win on that scenario. So those are reflected right here, right? There's the 29 cents for 8.75. There's the 17 cents both recorded on 613. So we received 25,000 and almost 15,000. So 40,000, right, in, in total. And that brings up our running total. So we added to the piggy bank. Uh, let's take a look. No shares were added. So we're still at 325. And let me show you over at holdings and weekly what that looks like. Um, so on our holdings, by going down some, you know, we're building up the distance. So we've got an 803,000 800, loss on our synthetic. Kind of similar to Ybit in the sense, but not as far out. They're $9 out. If you look at our synthetic, we're $4 out, I think. We're trading at 33.15, but it was just 34 and the strike is 38, but we have all the way to 719. So it's not a problem like uh, Ybit has got a pressing 621 that they're going to roll out of either uh, today on Friday or the following Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. Um, but they have plenty of time. So I'm not, again, I, I never worry too much on a synthetic when it's got more than four weeks. So we're looking at almost five weeks. So let's look at the weekly. Here are the new ones written. So where are they? Well, we're at 33.15. Now, this isn't your normal one trading day because, you know, tomorrow 6.14. They closed all those out, and we collected 99% of that money right up here, right? Collected 99. I mean, two cents is minuscule, right? So let's look at the, so very positive in winning those. And this could be close. Let's see if my Friday low, remember I was saying on GDX, I felt like Thursday or Friday would be the low. Let's see if that bears out um, and then start moving up again. It's, you know, it, it, it could be two weeks. It could be a month. It could be two months. But there's just some things that we're seeing that we're pointing potentially uh, to the end of this week. So let's, let's see what happens on GDX if it starts moving. All right. So back to June. What did we get? Well, all these other guys, right? So we had written these for 44 cents, 39 and a half cents, and 37 cents on the big one. So when you're buying them back, you can see that we collected 5,940. We had to pay 270 to buy them. We collected 5,135. Had to pay 260. We collected almost 55,000, and we had to pay about 3,000. So massive wins, right? So let's hope we pull that off again. All right. So let's look. 
I showed you weeklies. Anything else in holdings? All right, so that loss is reflected down here. It just has been steadily growing because it's not moving up, right? GDX is flat to down. Well, when it's flat to down, you can make income every week and you can have a payout. It's just to get the real big money you want your synthetic to wake up. So this week, having written them yesterday during the day, we're already 5%. Sometimes you write them, you move up, and then it costs more to buy them back. But in each case, we've got almost a 3% gain and almost a 7% gain. In this case, they're equal, which I love that they split those, right? Um, so fair value says 1821 and 1822, right? So I call that a toss-up. All right, let's go out and look at our... So last month, but now remember, we didn't pay because we only had a portion of a month. We had most of that month, I think. Well, no, I take it back. We opened on the 20th, right? That was inception or launch date. So we didn't have a tremendous amount, um, but we sold some calls and collected it. I mean, we, we did just fine. Um, so when we look at June and then we go to our payout, so they collected 94,000. We've already collected 128. Now, granted, this latest amount is in there and that has six trading days to go. But I'll take it. And our synthetic, we haven't written them for a little while. It's much smaller. But you can add these two together for money available. We had a total of 107. We got a total of 48 with three more weeks to go um, before declaration. Probably four. What is... What are we at? Oh, I don't have the days on this guy. I have it on all the other ones. But we've got a long ways to go, probably four, four weeks. Um, I mean, it's the fifth, and I, the fifth is declaration, and we're the 14th. So, yeah, it, it's a good distance. And three weeks of collecting um, more dividends, right, of collecting the weeklies. Now, if it really takes off, then we'll make it in the synthetic. So I don't think they'll roll at this point. When I, when I look at that synthetic, you know, we've collected 227, but we got that same liability that I'm sharing with you, right? We got this 803 outstanding. So let's take a look at payout again. Okay, captured 99% of those were up shortly on the 621s. Um, if we double that, which is two weeks worth, then that's going to get us to a dollar. We had a dollar. So for a fund that until it runs in the bull market might be an 80 to a dollar 20 payer, um, 80 cents to a dollar 20. Uh, but look at this thing. It's setting at 18. So if it pays over a dollar, that's going to be exciting. But again, don't hold me to that because my luck with the brand new funds based on YBIT hasn't been that good, right? Um, maybe they hold a reserve. Maybe they don't. Uh, we shall see. I'll certainly keep you tracking on that. The share count stayed the same. All right, guys, that's what I got for GDXY. Let's see if Friday proves to be a bottom and we start to move up and the bottoms on Thursday or whether we drop down low today and then recover later in the day. That'll be kind of interesting. Um, okay, again, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, give me comments, uh, likes, uh, appreciate all your comments. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Thanks again, guys. See ya. Bye.